Our app chat today is all about organizing your Christmas shopping, and we could all use a little help with that sometimes at this time of year. Everything kind of gets crazy. And joining me now is the independent e-business consultant, Francie Black. Thank you for being here, Francie. And what kind, of, what kind of app does all of this? I need that. Well, this is a, a Christmas shopping list app, but uh -huh. it's not just one where you, you know, put down a, a name and a couple of gift ideas. Really what this does is it helps you plan, organize, and help you stay on budget. Is, is this, uh, speaking of budget, is this one of those free apps, or is it, does it cost you money it's to get this? It's a free app for the base, so it's advertise-driven. So the one okay. we're looking at is the free version. So there are ads in it, but you can pay, of course, to okay. $1.99 for right, right. No and then ads. you don't have to be looking at ads every time you yes. open it up. Yes, so whatever your preference is, free or no ads. <laughs> we got it both. So what, what does it do? Okay, well, this one, it's called Gifted is the actual name of the app, and it does have a cute little countdown here so you know how many days of shopping you have left till Christmas. And then you go in and you define your list. Now, I've already gone in and set up some lists, so I'm going to go into my list. And you can set up a bunch of lists, and here they are, and you can set them up for an individual or for a group. So you can, it's not just one list. So you mm -hmm. can, you know, by an individual, by, here I have my nieces and nephews, husband, friends, etc. And then you can go in, you can always create new lists just by tapping the plus. So it's really easy. And notice this really creative interface, the, the user interface is very fun. Most of them are very dry. Yeah, because it looks, like it, it looks like it's handwritten. The whole thing is like that. Yeah, And I, I like that. It's different. It's definitely cute. different. It is cute. And then... Um, for the budget, you can go in and set a budget, which a lot of the apps don't do that. And you can change that. So if you decide to increase or decrease your budget, you can do that at any time. And again, notice how quick and easy it is. It's just tapping um, on the item to change it. So I went in here and I created these lists, and I'm going to go in here to add them. And I put his gifts on here, and I can scroll up and down through his list. I can add new gifts, okay? And if you put in a cost, uh -huh. it will help you work against your budget, it'll deduct it so you know where you are on your budget. So it keeps a running tally of how much money you've spent or how much you have you may have left in your budget. <laughs> left or not going. left. Yeah, or you <laughs> burnt your budget <laughs> and it says maybe in it's negative. Case, yeah, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. I've burnt my budget. <laughs> and then you can also do things like you can organize these. So I'm gonna tap on this and you can if there's something that he really wants that's high priority, you can tap on the item and then just scroll it right up to the top. So it you goes to the top of the list. So you can organize it. Or if you're in a certain store and you want to get two or three things from that store, you can put those at the so top. So I was of trying list. to figure out what would make this different than, like, say, using your notes on your phone. This is or, more flexible. Yeah, this gives you some more options. Way more options. Yep. You can change your price. You don't have scratches. It gives you the running total. You don't have to do that on your own. You can edit it. It's with you everywhere you go. You don't forget it because it's on your phone. So you can do it mm -hmm. while you're in the store, while you're standing in line. You can mm -hmm. reference it. There's lots of advantages to this over handwritten. Can, will it buy the items for you, too, yeah. while you're at it? I mean, <laughs> that, it's like, that, I'll take six a, of those and go ahead and right, ship exactly. it to my house. Ship it, right, yeah. Exactly. So you can go in and you can edit these and, you know, change the pricing if you need to. So maybe it costs $30. You got it on sale. So it'll adjust mm -hmm. that and it'll figure that into your budget as well. Now, once you've bought a gift, just swipe it. I'm just going to swipe here to the right. Okay. And it doesn't technically remove it from my list. Now, it's off of my shopping list, but if I click up here on the packages icon, mm -hmm. I can actually see that it's in my purchased gifts category. So it's now. in the it goes into the gift wrap box. How how That's convenient. Right. <laughs> exactly. That works all right. So you know what you've purchased and what you still have yet to purchase. Right, right. Now, notice also I can share um, a list. So if you've sent your spouse out to go shop for you, you can send it to the list to them via SMS or email, so you can do that um, without losing your list. I, I'm you surprised can, I don't know. There's one thing that's missing here. It's the coal option. The coal. I don't see that anywhere. You can add that as your item. Okay. Put that on your own list, I guess. I've got a few of those on you know, my list. Okay. You're getting coal for Christmas. <laughs> um, once you get back into your list, you can see the dollar amount for each of the lists. And it's also color-coded, so yellow means, hey, you've got part of your list done. Red means get going, you haven't shopped there at all. And then green means, hey, you're good, you've got everything on that list. It gives you a grand total against your budget, and hey, I am over budget. Mm. So, uh, you know, but I still got to keep shopping because I haven't filled up, so I'm in trouble here. But it does give you an idea of where you are, what you st where you stand, and it's just a great, fun little app. So. And it's called Gift. It, it is called Gift It. Gift right? It. Gift It. Yep. And, and it's a free app. Uh, I do have the download already on my website at iPadWisdom.com. So if you want to download it for free, you can do that directly from iPadWisdom.com. Awesome. Independent e-business consultant, okay. Francie Black. Thank Thanks you. for being with us Thank and you. sharing this app and help you get your Christmas shopping done right. Yes. If you'd like to learn more about the app and that was showcased today, you can go to WLOS.com and click on Tech Time. And that's where we'll also be able to allow you to sign up for Francie's e-newsletter. Yep. Thus. You can sign up to receive her e-newsletter. Simply send an email to iPadWisdom at gmail.com. Be sure to enter subscribe in the subject line. 